And now I'd like to uh, to welcome our witnesses uh, from the Ministry of Finance. We will have with us... Uh, How is the government paying the $7 billion bill associated with this proposal? That question is directed to who, Mr. Poliev? Anyone who wants to answer it. If they have one, anyone over there that is concerned about where the money comes from, that person could speak up. Maybe you could choose one of the witnesses. I don't know who uh, on their side uh, is responsible for this, but clearly they're getting the money from somewhere, so they must know where. Anyone here from Finance Canada? Let's see, Mr. Baylor. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, I, 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 can, I can provide a, uh, a high-level uh, response, but uh, I'm afraid I won't be able to uh, to answer uh, directly uh, the honourable member's uh, uh, question uh, be, be, because we're we're here to to discuss. And, and what I can say uh, with regards to the cost of the measures, uh, in terms of, of Part One, um, the the three first programs that, that I uh, that I mentioned, the the hospitality, uh, the tourism and hospitality recovery program, part businesses recovery program, uh, and the local lockdown program, have a cost of three point uh, two billion. And w and where's and sorry sorry, Mr. Mr. Baylor, where's the money coming from? Uh, well, Mr. Chair, that that is within the, the government's uh, broader macro uh, economic framework and, and I'm not I, I'm not uh, I respond I, I can't I can't speak to, to that uh, so, so you question. don't have anyone it's just that we're we're being asked to vote in favor of another seven billion dollars of spending and the obvious question is where is it coming from I, I can discuss the contents uh, of the bill, and I, I appreciate the question, but I, I, can't, I can't answer that, uh, that question. Well, if, if somebody's paying for it. Who is it? Did the tooth fairy? No answer. Here, uh, respectfully, to uh, to answer questions to uh, to C two as we study. Right, C two has a seven billion dollar bill. That's the t price tag. Right, that's what I'm asking about. Where's the seven billion coming from? There's a lot of a lot of people are willing really to talk about how they're spending the money, but no one wants to talk about where it comes from. How many witnesses do we have here? We have the number, Mr. Chair. Ten is it ten? Ten witnesses. Ten witnesses to tell us about how to spend money, but not a single one to tell us where the money comes from. Anyone, Mr. Chair? Can you help us, Mr. Polyev? The floor is yours to ask your questions. Well, I've asked the same question five or six times. No one seems to be able to answer it. I'm just worried that the. The answer is not one my constituents are going to want to hear. Because right now, I have 30-year-olds living in their parents' basement because housing inflation has priced them out of the market. I have single moms in my neighborhood that can't afford a healthy basket of groceries to feed their kids. I have seniors whose savings are being vaporized by inflation. Now we have the prospect that deficits are going to drive up interest rates. So you can forgive me if my focus today is not on all the wonderful things the government's spending money on, but instead on where the money comes from. Because so far, all the money seems to be coming out of the pocket of working class folks Point of who order, are paying Mr. Chair. record inflation. Mr. Poliev? I have a strictly technical question, that is where's the money coming from? $7 billion cost, the money must be coming from somewhere. Like, is there a money tree? Is there a printing press? P point of order, that's Mr. A, that's Chair. That's the technical question I'm asking. I appreciate the point liberals order, across Mr. the way Chair. don't want it answered. Mr.